Hello everyone, my name is Cullen and I'd like to welcome you to my life, my travels, my adventures. And my adventures this time has taken me from Fort Knox, Kentucky to overseas in Germany working with the U.S. Army in Ansbach, Germany. So I'm really happy to be here. Just got a new job, so I want to give all, give everyone out there an update on me because things about to change a lot in the videos that I make but I still do the same thing I've done before travel around fishing is one of my favorite hobbies I'll get to all that right now I've been kind of busy um, <clears throat> trying to get settled as you can see behind me I'm like really living in a hotel now on base here I've been here for almost a month next week would be one month that i've been in this hotel but it's very nice uh the end processing has been good a lot of good things have been happening so i feel fortunate and very blessed to be here uh there was a lot of work packing out by myself shipping out i flew into germany really on the 16th of october i took a week leave in heidelberg before driving down here I had a rent car for about a little about three weeks I just got rid of the rent car last week because I bought a car that was nice too I was so happy that worked out real good got myself a Mazda 3 it's called very nice car so um, and um, yeah, I just saying, I, um, I'll be putting out some videos, but just give everybody an uh, update on here and what's going on with me in the channel to just say, have a little patience. You know, I'm kind of homeless right now, <laughs> per se, but I have found an apartment. I had good luck today. Got an apartment. I'll sign for that on the 1st of December. About so, or I'll move in about that time. You know, and real excited about it because I got a yard. I got a garage. Got a whole bunch of stuff. I'll be able to barbecue. That's one thing I'm looking forward to. And you'll see more videos of me and my sweetheart won't be alone <laughs> anymore, which is good. So, so yes, yeah. so I'm here in Katerbach, Germany. I know a lot of people have been contacting me, my old army buddies and friends, like, where are you at, man? I said, yeah, found a job, did a little traveling around. Well, haven't traveled much, but been in, in and out of the town. Got a good old German beer, it's called the Bitburger. If the think the light is too bright there it is now it came into focus so it's very good well actually I picked this up on base out of the shopette as it's called of a little grocery store or the version of the military's little convenience store so so yes it has been a whirlwind but everything has been going good. It's been going smooth. Everybody is great at the new job. Haven't done a lot of work yet <clears throat> because little issues with transferring my records, all in, you know, electronic. Over here to show I'm overseas, army, civilian, whatever. So, uh, <clears throat> so I just been doing little things that I can accomplish, like doing a lot of changing the address, but mostly online. Went to the clinic to update that I'm now overseas for medical because you know you got to set up your health care. It's a lot of things to do when you move your whole life to another country. It takes a little while to establish things. So, like for instance, I have an apartment on the 1st of December. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> but my household goods are not expected to be delivered until around the 21st of December. Well, with the way shipping and everything's going, I don't think I'm gonna see those household goods until after the new year, because there was a little bit of an issue even trying to get an appointment with the moving company 
to even leave the state. They wanted to change it a couple times because they were shorthanded or actually they were very busy. So it shows up, it shows up. I'll just buy a few little things I need for the, excuse me, for the apartment anyway. You know, just to hang out till then. So I'm just basically living out of three suitcases and a backpack right now. But it's pretty good though. I really can't complain, complain at all. I feel fortunate and very blessed to be here. Left Afghanistan safe and sound. Did very good there. And was only in the States a short time before I got another call with another job offer. Boom. So I ended up here. Which I wanted to come back anyway. <clears throat> I really like Germany. It's great to work here. So it's not really that different. Traveling here was easy. I went through a lot of hoops to get here. And I mean, it's for the best. Nobody really asked for anything. No one wanted to see my COVID tests. I registered with the German government and had printed out all kind of forms to show travel agent, but they just wanted to see my uh, vaccination card and had to show my official passport. Well, that was all the police, the German police, the customs officials wanted to see in the States when I showed them my military ID card. They wanted to see my official passport and vaccination card. And that was it. And that was through customs. I was like, boy, this is easy. So I was really prepared, but it worked out good. So I was very happy. So having done a tremendous amount, uh, been to a Vietnamese restaurant, one of the first restaurants I went in, because it's one I used to go to when I was here, stationed here before. And so that was good. Uh, we went to a, a, a German mall, looked around there, but that was here in the city of Anspach. Had a meal, I had a, like a, a ham hock, uh, they call it a Hotson. It's really big and then they grill it. They do it different in every part of Germany, but just the way they do it here, and that was very good, and had a real German potato salad. And no, for only from my buddy Kevin in Kentucky, no, I did not have schnitzel. I kept telling him that's like tourist food. <laughs> There's a whole lot of great dishes to eat here that are very delicious. Schnitzel is good, too. Germans do it good, but you got to try everything else. Very good. So anyway, like saying, I'm looking around. I used to be stationed here as a soldier a long time ago and a civilian. So it's interesting to see how much things have changed. And believe me, they have changed a lot. Even this brand new hotel, which for me is new. For them, it's maybe old, but compared to what they used to have on another base, this is fabulous. Like, for example, they got this coffee machine downstairs. Makes ten, 10 different kinds of coffee. And I love cappuccino. So every day I come in from work, I grab me a cappuccino and walk up to my room. Sit back and sit that. And life is great. So, and also we walk through the city here in Anspach. Went to a real Italian uh, cafe. Ice, it's really an ice cream cafe, but in the morning they open early. And I had a cappuccino there. That was very good, too. And then we had went looked at an apartment, and uh, that was in the middle of the city, so we decided to nix that one. That would be, like, way too noisy, too busy. And I went back to another place I had previously viewed and decided to go on that one. So excited about that. Got some big things accomplished. Got a car. Got a place to live. So just need to get all my things here so can really just spread out. I don't have too much camera equipment here because I could only bring what I could put in two suitcases. But my cell phone. Got my GoPro. I have my drone which I flew that one time. Boy, it took a long time to update 
took like almost a day. That was a huge update it did. Just to get whatever it needs to say, I'm in Germany and don't fly away and try to fly back to Kentucky, which won't make it anyway. So I did fly that and it's a video I'm gonna make, I'm going to put out to show that too. Did a little walking around to see so that everybody could see what it's like being in Germany I did do a previous video in the city of Heidelberg, mm -hmm. but this next one is in a small mm -hmm. town. One that I like is pretty good. And it's got a really nice Italian restaurant there that you can sit outside and sip on vino or whatever and, and on some wonderful Italian snacks and such, but better in the summertime. The weather here now, not extremely cold, but it's damp and wet and foggy. So for those of you who've been in Europe before, you know how the weather is here. It's very gloomy. You don't see the sun shine for days. But I think it did come out one time, a little bit on Sunday, I think. But other than that, it's just total cloud. Everything's clouded over. You don't see the sun. That's the only thing I don't like about the winter here. But it's okay. Because next week on the 25th, I think it's a, whatever, a Thursday or whatever, that's when the Christmas market opens up. And that's a great time. That's what I wanted to be back in Germany for too. To attend all those Christmas festivals to try this hot wine they call the Glühwein and all the other wonderful German treats they have. But that's good. The, cold outside, you drink that hot wine, you give it to you in a coffee cup and sit and talk to all kind of people. I do speak German also. Not totally fluent, but I have a great time. I can get around. So yeah, so I'll be making more videos of me. My sweetheart, she loves, she's into it too, helping support me here. So yeah, and so so that, that's what I'm doing over here in beautiful Germany. I'm, I'll be stationed here for three years with the U.S. Army, working, helping, taking care of soldiers. So that's basically what I do. So anyway, um, yeah, I'll be coming out with some more videos. I'm going to do a walk through the city, but got to wait for a nicer day. It's probably not going to be too much right now because by the time I get off work it's dark basically I go to work it's dark when I get home it's dark so that only leaves the weekend but at the moment I'm traveling back and forth between Heidelberg and Anspa but I'll get to make some uh, videos here sooner or later when I settle down and coordinate this moving out of here into the new place so life can begin. Can't wait to go fishing. But anyway, it's great being back in Germany. Uh, I would like to make a lot of videos, but I just haven't really had the time. And that's what I'm taking this time to tell you all. So, like I say again, shoot me a comment if you want to see something. I will be happy to send you that. So. And I've been talking for a long time, so I'm going to take a break now. And I will say, excuse me, let me know. Shoot me a comment. Stay safe. Enjoy yourself. Have a good turkey day. Bye now.